G'day. Today I'm going to try to resurrect uh, a project which was written by a lady of some intelligence well over a hundred years ago. Her name, Arabella B. Buckley. Her work, The Fairyland of Science. Like many of us, Arabella was a person who wondered about things beyond science or things that most of us can't understand without having it explained through some technical web of intrigue. Arabella was fascinated with the mysteries and apparent miracles which abound in nature. I'm going to uh, read some excerpts from her works and I think you will probably find that Arabella is not too different in her thinking to possibly yourself and those are, in turn, as yourself. She actually breaks her work into a number of lectures. Ten, in fact. The last is entitled Bees and Flowers. And the first lecture, How to Enter the Fairyland of Science. How to use it and how to enjoy it. She begins, I have promised to introduce you today to the fairyland of science. A somewhat bold promise, seeing that most of you probably look upon science as a bundle of dry facts, while fairy land is all that is beautiful and full of poetry and imagination. But I thoroughly believe myself and hope to prove to you that science is full of beautiful pictures, of real poetry, and of wonder-working fairies. And what is more, I promise you, they shall be true fairies, whom you will love just as much when you are old and grey-headed as when you are young. For you will be able to call them up whenever you wander, by land or by sea, through meadow or through wood, through water or through air. And though they themselves will always remain invisible, yet you will see the wonderful poet at work everywhere around you. This work that I have put to screen in some ways is a reflection of that kind of philosophy, but at the same time, it explores some of the imaginings that some of us perhaps have had in our lives when the word fairy, fairyland, or fairy tale has been uttered. I've had a lot of fun trying to put these ideas into a tangible visual form. And I hope that you will get equal enjoyment, if not interest, from what I have prepared. Thank you. I am Michael, director, producer, and imagineer. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.